In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you my live training session using pure price action. What does it mean? That means I'm relying only on the pure candlesticks as they are printing on a chart. And I'm going to be looking for patterns and for key levels and key entry points on the chart. Now you can see I have only one indicator on the chart, but this is a supportive indicator only. The blue line is the 21 bar exponential moving average. And the first thing I need to do is I want to identify the bias. I want to grasp the context of the market. And I can see we had a downtrend that played out with the break move to a new extreme. According to trend line rule, we expect correction or reversal. Right now, we can see a consolidation flat EMA and prices are attempting to create new extreme. So based on price action rules and the tools that I'm drawing on the chart, I'm able to follow the directional bias of the market. The stock market, the regular US hours is going to open in two minutes. And let's see how the day is going to develop. All right, traders, so I'm resuming the video as we have a nice two like a pullback second entry long. Great setup at the EMA while the option is to get new extreme, but the stock market is right opening now and there can be a whipsaw spike in volatility around the new. So for this reason, I'm being a little bit patient and you can see I already would have reached the scalp. But why this is such a good setup? Well, you can see this is the latest highest high and we have a first attempt to go long by the bulls, pull back second attempt to go long by the bulls. Why this is important? Well, because this option needs to get new extreme and the supportive indicator that I'm using to help me give me an additional information you can see keeps holding prices so two like a pullback is a high probability setup if it forms under the right context and we expect to have a break and a new extreme unfortunately this was right around the open if this setup is not at the open this is a great setup that you definitely want to take but since it is exactly spot on around the open i was a bit patient okay so the uptrend played out with the break new high and at this point i'm going to be pausing my longs I'm going to pay attention to how this uptrend develops. If we push below EMA strongly, I may consider selling. However, if we're going to stay above EMA, there's a chance that there's some wider pattern developing, but I don't know that right now. I don't want to be gambling. This is still looking quite big train range on the big picture. So I'm just going to be following price action very carefully. And I'm going to be looking for only high probability setups, the key entry points. This is where I want to enter following the price action rules. So at this point, I'm going to pause my longs, but let's see what's going to happen. Maybe there's a bigger pattern in play. Prices are correcting. We have a second entry long, but this second entry long is not fully at the EMA, which means it's not fully at the key entry point. So for this reason, I cannot really take it, but I can see that the bullish momentum keeps developing. The bullish trend is getting larger and larger. So I'm adapting to bigger pattern. You can see it fits nicely off of these lows, geometric formation. It fits also quite nicely off of these highs. We started with the gap, which means a lot of times these gaps will get filled eventually. And this is exactly what the prices are trying to do. So had this two-legged like pullback format EMA, I would have jumped on this. But since there is still quite a gap between the EMA, it's not fully at the key entry point for me. All right, so I'm resuming the video again as we have a new high, first entry long, pullback, second entry long, combined with the triple test at the EMA. But my signal bar is straight doji with bearish body, such a tempting setup context wise. And don't tell me we're going to miss another beautiful setup context wise, because if this was just more bullish, I would have definitely considered because context is more important. But the way this is straight OG, my stop loss has to go one tick below this bar right here. So it just didn't form that well, but hopefully you guys can see what's going on here. You have a new high, another second entry long, and this time you have a supportive pattern, triple test, one bottom, double bottom, triple test, right at the EMA, it even touched the trend line, rejected strongly. So I needed this upper wick to be gone for me to go long. But if you have a better single bar here, you can definitely consider going long because this is exactly where the correction phase will end. The key entry points will lure a lot of buyers in and this is where all the smart traders will buy and the trend will continue. So I'm just using pure price action, using key entry points and counting for the high probability setups. But you can see this is why I'm waiting for prices to pull back to key entry point, either EMA or the trend line. If you go along here, you can get trapped on little fake out because you're not fully at the EMA. You're still at the top of the push phase. You need to buy low when the correction phase will end. And look at the beautiful setup. Just the waveform is not that great on my chart. When you're deciding if you want to select the channel with overshoot or without the overshoot, you can see that after overshoot, you expect strong rejection back down. But this is not happening. We continue trending to the upside. So this is not behaving as overshoot and it looks too strong overall. So for this reason, I'm drawing my channel two tiered while like this, and there would be additional midline 
it would look something like this. Prices broke the uptrend. We have a downtrend with the break and a new extreme. And according to rules, we expect for prices to create new extreme. But I need to see strong push above EMA first because as I'm looking back, it can also be just an extended overshoot. So I definitely want to see push above the EMA to confirm that the buyers are in the market and that their intentions are to get a new extreme first. But you can see this is a very strong rejection. It may be that there may be additional downtrend like this for this one steeper lag. So right now I can't really buy as long as we are below EMA. I want to see push above EMA, EMA holding, and then I can consider buying. All right, try this. I'm resuming the video as I'm going to take a felt second entry short. If it triggers the signal bar, it's inside bar, but the context is so strong, I'm still going to take it because when the context is this great, I definitely want to try to take it when the risk is this small. I need to see a tick above this bar for the felt second entry short to trigger. Without the trigger higher, the setup is not in effect just yet. Okay, we triggered, so I'm going to place in my limit order a little bit for the back at the close of the bar. I'm going to chase it just a little bit here. I was a little bit too patient, but we never still came back from our limit order. If it breaks above this bar, I have to cancel the order. At this point, the scalp is going to be made. Oh, actually, I have to cancel because the scalp was already made. I just measured it. Why I was looking for taking the felt second entry short? Because it's simple. In price action, you stick with the trend as long as you have to. You would need to see deep retracement for you to adapt. This trend line is clearly confirmed. The rules say we're going to reach a new extreme and this is the new low. First entry short pullback, second entry short failure. The second entry short on the opposite side of the EMA is bad for sellers given the bullish uptrend and is going to result into a trap. So this is exactly where you want to buy. You want to buy low after push above EMA the confirmation. As you can see, we are not getting lucky. We didn't take this due to the open. I should have though, this was a horrible doji, you could have considered the bar and now we didn't get filled. So but you can see how simple the price session is. Yesterday was also really simple and fairly easy, but today is as easy as it gets. You just wait for pullback to key entry point, you have a break and you try to take the felt second entry short, but hopefully there are still going to be setups because the day is still quite early. All right, resuming the video as the bulls attempted to create new high and we can see we came shy a couple of ticks, but it's possible they may consider it as a new extreme tested with double top because we have strong downtrend with the break new extreme. However, we are still around the 50% mark and there's a chance we may continue working higher, especially given the fact we have a break new low and right now we are pushing above EMA. So I'm not giving up on my bullish bias just yet. Remember, I can always adapt if there is going to be a stronger downtrend working lower. But I don't want to get trapped going short too quickly, especially since we are pushing above EMA and the uptrend is still in play. So we may end up eventually going back into this somewhat of a train range and attempting to create new extreme. Let's see what's going to happen. Traders, I'm resuming the video as I'm going to enter a double trap setup. We have a new high, first entry long, pullback, second entry long. But the second entry long was so far away from EMA and it failed because you can see there's a big gap between the EMA and the body or even the tail and now we have all the early bulls who got trapped and we even have all the early sellers who got trapped as well at the very last second i adapted to the spike and a channel pattern it is an inside bar but i am willing to risk a setup like this because we still should get new extreme for the main uptrend the bias is bullish and let's see if we can get our little scalp once again another signal bar which is not necessarily what I like, but I'm risking this entry to go long here. Okay, we are very close to reaching our target profit. As you can see, I chased it a little bit because I wanted to get filled this time. So I should decrease my scalp by one because I generally like to go for eight, but I'm going to keep it like this. At that point, the one tick should make no difference at all. Come on. We're getting very close, we just need to... We're bouncing on my exit order, but we need to take through. Come on. You can see, had I entered limit order, I already would have been out. Mm, this is not what you want to see. Ooh. 
we're still halfway in. Come on, maybe we can get the momentum this time. There's a micro double tap, but we still could get the scalp here. We just need two more ticks. One to touch and one to tick through, as you can see, because we need to tick through a lot of times. Unless you're early in the queue, which at this point we could have gotten filled. Come on, and we got filled. We ticked through, so I'm going to tighten it to break even, because anything we made right now is just a bonus. And this was our first trade for the day, and hopefully you guys can see why I liked it. Because it is still too bullish, the uptrend still needs to get new high. And how do I know that the uptrend is going to get most likely a new high? Well, because we haven't retraced too much over that 50 60% retrace mark. So remember, I measured the uptrend. You can use Fibonacci tool. I'm not relying or using the Fibonacci magical level. I'm just using it to measure the retracement of the uptrend. And we were around the 50%. Combined with the fact that we have a break in New Extreme, that's telling me that the sell is played out. And I see massive push above EMA. And also what I can see, this is very important. EMA is the supportive indicator, but notice, rejection of the EMA, rejection of the EMA, rejection of the EMA. This is a healthy, slowly but surely working higher uptrend and this is a double trap once again i had to risk the inside bar but this is one of those days where you can see you pretty much have to take it sketchy because i'm relying on context and once the second entry long you can see form so far away from the ema you cannot take it you have to be patient and honestly this double trap confirmed this spike in a channel to me because at first i was playing with the break new high but once i see such a massive rejection this is where i quickly adapt and I expect for prices to slowly but surely continue working higher. All right, sure, so zoom in the video as I tightened the runner here, not Stop that aggressively, that. and we ended up getting stopped anyway. I probably should have trailed it a little bit tighter. Why? Well, because this first channel just reached new extreme. So we may have longer correction before this secondary channel will get new extreme as well. Nevertheless, this was a Great setup and overall fairly predictable price action. All right, traders, I'm going to wrap it up with my one single trade. I'm getting a little bit distracted. I have a couple of things to catch up to do. So I'm just going to be happy with my one single trade. I need to be able to recognize when I'm not focusing and when I would be pushing it. I don't be too greedy. One good trade with a decent runner is great enough, especially after yesterday's session, which was absolutely amazing to trade. But you can see this was pretty much textbook price action. The price action today was very predictable. If you just follow the price action rules, you can stay on the right side of the market. You can predict the direction of the market. Just the setups themselves were quite aggressive because this is a good setup, but right around the open, this is a great high probability setup at three key entry points, but the signal bar is bad. And then we had inside bar here and inside bar here, which they are more aggressive. So you really want to make sure you're reading it correctly, but the context is so good. And you can see what is the foundation of a high probability setup. You're waiting for correction to deplete. You're waiting for prices to pull back to the key entry point and you're following the price action rules. And you can see once you wait for the pullback to key entry point, this is where all the significant moves will occur. So you don't really want to be looking for this just bunch of first entry just randomly in a no man's land. You want to cautiously just let the price action develop. And once you get your key entry point aligned with the EMA, that's a good sign. That you can go long. I marked even this setup more aggressive, but when I was watching this live, I didn't see this channel. I had a break new extreme, so the all options played out. But if you're a good trader, you can see that we have really a lot of confirmations at the bottom and the channel is flattening out a little bit. You can consider taking this, but like I said, when I was watching this live, I really didn't think this setup will work because I just didn't have this channel in play. Eventually, market enter a brand new cycle, which is a correction phase. You can see flat EMA, the support, the resistance, trading range structure. I mark this setup as a calculated risk to take because the target profit can be really big. You can get some major move because they're buying low. The risk was quite small, ended up being a losing trade. This is a decent setup to take a chance. And even the wider channel here ended up having a break and a new extreme. Fell breakout and most breakout string engines will fail. This high low is confirming the fell breakout and little micro first entry long, second entry long. But at this point, once again, didn't break higher, a little bit inside bar, but it's getting a little bit too late anyway. But this is a decent high low because most breakouts will fail, downtrend played out, and you trade it up into the string range while you're looking for a new high for this uptrend. So this is okay stuff to take a chance. So I hope you had a great trading day. I'm going to talk to you next time. Good luck with your trading.